One of the coolest features of Mendeley is its ability to import references directly from your internet browser by using the Mendeley Web Importer Browser plugin. In today's video, I am going to show you how to use the plugin to make your research more efficient. Mendeley Web Importer is a plugin that works best with Mozilla Firefox and Google Chrome. It does not work well on Internet Explorer, Microsoft Edge, and Safari on the Mac. You will need to install the plugin, create a Mendeley account, and sign in into that account when you're using the Web Importer. There are some caveats when using the Mendeley Web Importer. While it's very powerful and it usually works well on most databases and websites, there is a possibility that the Web Importer may not work on other databases and websites. If that happens, you will need to use the other methods to bring your references in. Mendeley Web Importer also has the ability to bring in the full text PDF of the references. However, please note that it does not always work because of the way some databases are designed. Finally, do note that the quality of the citation information varies with the source. So please do check the citation information of these references that you imported. Installing the Mendeley Web Importer is very simple. First, open up Mendeley. Next, click on Tools and then select Install Web Importer. You will be brought to a web page where you can install the Mendeley Web Importer. Follow the instructions for your browser and you should have no issues installing the connector. You know you have installed the Mendeley Web Importer properly if you can see this icon on your browser. Now that you have installed the Mendeley Web Importer, I am going to show you how to use it. For the purpose of this video, I am going to use the importer on three sites. The first is a BBC News article, the second is a database Science Direct, and the third is Google Scholar. To use the Mendeley Web Importer, first open up the internet browser that you installed the Web Importer on. For me, I'm going to use Firefox since I installed the Web Importer on it. Head to the website that you want to import, in this case it will be this BBC News article. Let's say you want to cite this article. Click on the Web Importer plugin. Once you click on it, a pop up will appear and click on Add, and your reference will be added into your Mendeley library. You may have to log in into your Mendeley account when using the Web Importer. Take a look at your Mendeley library and you should find the article. You may have to click on the Sync button. Next, I'm going to show you how to use the web importer on a database. The database I'm going to use is Science Direct, and the article is about food and culture in Singapore. So head to the article, and once you're there, click on the Mendeley Web Importer plugin. A pop up will appear. Select the reference you want and click on Add. The reference will be added into your Mendeley library. You can also see that Mendeley is also trying to download the PDF, but do note that it does not always work because of the restrictions put in place by the database providers. Finally, I am going to show you how you can use the web importer in Google Scholar. First, head to Google Scholar and do a simple search. I did a search on Singapore Heritage. Once you have done your search, click on the web importer. A pop-up will appear and a list of references will appear. They correspond to the result list in Google Scholar. Select the references you want and click on Add. And the references will be added into Mendeley. As always, please check the reference to ensure that the citation information is accurate. Hopefully, by the end of this video, you will know how to use the Mendeley Web Importer. You can visit our library guide on Mendeley to find out more about using Mendeley. You can also contact us at askalip at nus.edu.sg if you have any questions about using Mendeley.